Hey curious people, I think we are on part six of the old electrical box um, scrap out. So I've now come to phones. Um, all sorts of different phones here. Um, you know, we've got BTs, Gigasets, quite a few BTs, I think. These are all, what's that one? That's Panasonic, BT, BT, Vinatone, Panasonic. So, that's BT, that's BT. So, that I suspect was, uh, oh yeah, look, BT. Um, I think I've probably already seen that one. Okay, so we've got six, was that BT? Yeah, six BT ones. Um, they're the same. They're similar. Not that you know they're all fairly similar so yeah i thought i would just um see what sort of boards are in these these are all digital displays so um we'll give it a go um so this one is pretty beaten up Ah, oh, a mess. Not very prepared today. There we go. Uh, right. Still pretty chilly here in England. to do the speakers in this video that's sort of no interest to you but I'll just do that on my own okay so not a bad looking little board is that it I think that's it okay Right, what have we got here? Lots of ICs. Now, that was a flat pack, I believe. Tanties, capacitors. Um, oh, some two crystal oscillators. That's a surprise. Um... Hey, now I think there's might be a chip. Obviously, the screen. Let's just see what's going on underneath that screen. Okay, so it looks like there's gold on this ribbon here on this end um, the other end isn't strangely um, the 
actually I can't tell whether that they are gold or whether it's just the colour of the um, the ribbon possibly okay no nothing there oh no the neighbours are starting gardening <laughs> <laughs> oh, how's that for timing? I think I'm going to have to leave it there and come back. Okay, so, um, just while I waited for the noise to go, I just did, um, just basically I got the tiny bit of copper out of the, um, speaker. So, right, I don't think we went through this board. Yes, maybe I did a little bit, I, I remember saying the ICs, flat pack. Um, so the other thing I've done is just open this up and there's two little um, four-sided um, flat packy type chips there. Uh, yeah, I don't think they're ICs. So, and the tanties. Now this little connector here is gold which is nice so there we are have it there's one board uh, daughter's asking when dinner is not yet right on to the next one What I might actually do is um, keep the board by the phone so we can see what comes out of what, which one, actually. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Let's just see how noisy that gets, shall we? I think it's going to get pretty noisy. If I can at least open this one, then maybe I can do this speaker while they get on with whatever they're doing next door. So this is another BT. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's going to be lots of stopping and starting in this video. Okay, so. We've got COB here, which um, I didn't know what that was before, so I looked it up before. Apparently it's chip on board. It's basically where the IC is uh, printed as part of the board. It's cheaper than the separate components, and then they put like an epoxy over the top. So that is what is under there. Uh, nothing, you know, particularly exciting. We've got one crystal oscillator on this one. And obviously a couple of capacitors and then just see if my gut instinct is right on this one correct um, you can kind of get a feel for the so in there, tiny copper coiling. Fabulous. Um, screen's loose on this one. Just try and unclip it from the board here. They clip off really easily. Yeah, I might have to just pause here, guys, and come back to you. <laughs> 
Okay, let's just try and get under this. Um... Oh, that's the copper out the speaker I did while the camera was off. So you can see, just one flat pack under there, there's quite some difference here between these two. This one is miles above this one. Interesting, isn't it? All right, so. That's, oh, I'll swing on there. Okay, next. Right, let's have a look inside this one. Move it closer to the table. Okay, it's just it's a big, bigger bash. Stubborn screen end. Okay. Here we go. Bit fresher aboard this one. Um, so we've got another one of these. Another CIB. In fact, this is very similar. Very similar. Not quite the same, but incredibly similar. Um, one crystal oscillator. Um, Again, let's see what's under the shield here. I'll try and go in through the solder. Might break it open a bit easier. That's why it's stubborn. Stupid woman. Forgot these two, didn't I? Just so easily just... Oh no. Why not? Hang on. Okay, so one's charging. I've got my other one. I've actually got two of these. Right. Um, can't remember what I said, but basically um, another inductor here that's got a little copper coil in it. One crystal capacitors. Oh yes, I remember now. I was getting into this, wasn't I? To see what... chip is underneath. It will be very similar to the other one. So, more than likely nothing special. I'll just take the screen clip off and get that off. On hammering around here. So there's just one, one little chip inside there under the shielding. Oh, there we go. All right. So that is what goes with oh do you know what i think i was a bit hasty threw it in my plastics oh it's because it broke oh. that goes with that one on to phone number four get open your little sign so Yeah, so last night I watched for the first time the live stream of Rap House Scrapper. That was good. It was 
entertaining like that that was the first time i've joined there which was good um quite a good little community going on there see i love that sort of thing um my husband's just started watching another guy a totally different subject matter um he does like wild camping in sheffield um and i don't know i just i really love the fact that people are kind of filming their lives now and what they do there's no pretense it's just literally what they do and if people want to watch they can watch it's like me i don't pretend to be a professional this is a hobby um which i love doing i just want to share what i find you know inside stuff um and i really like that oh, this is, because this is a rounded edge it's being a bit of a little so and so i tell you what i'm going to go in from this way give this a go and i also just find it really interesting actually seeing other people's setups too so They're huge buttons. Alright. I wanted the other side to come off, but you can't have it all, I suppose. Just get this down here. Um. Right. Much the same, more COB, capacitors, one crystal oscillator, and then I suspect another one single, because this is quite lacking anyway, one single um, little flat pack under here, I imagine, under this shielding. Yeah, tiny, actually, this, I've got some sticky, I hope that's not from that screen. Uh, yep, that's it. Nothing special. Let's check out the. If I unclip the screen, check out the. Can't even see any gold here, you know. No. So pretty miserable there. <laughs> That's that one. I'll keep that to get the speaker off separately. That's that one. Okay, four down. Did I have ten? Yeah, six to go. Some of these are a bit stubborn, these battery compartments. Okay, let's see if I can... Too small, damn it. Gosh, it's even too small for this one. I should get my mobile phone one out. Um, not too cold out here today. I mean, it, it is a bit chilly. But I'm not sure what the actual temperature is. I think maybe about, oh, do you know what? I've um, ballsed up that screw. That is bad times. Although I didn't even touch these ones, and these are being stubborn as well. Um, yeah, I think it's, I don't know, it feels about 12, something like that. It was about 11, 12 yesterday perhaps feels a tiny bit warmer today so yeah um i know it's noisy and not ideal you can hear the birds singing though they sound lovely but um i'm working tomorrow and i i've got the bug really so i just really want to get this done i think i'm just gonna have to go open and try and get those screws out 
them the hard way. Because I missed them up. Yes. I just snapped the casing. Ah, oh, gotcha. Right. And again, much the same. COB, crystal oscillator, tiny ICs, no wait, diode, not an IC, that's thanks to uh, Mr Dyson educating me, I couldn't tell what these little tiny black ones were, uh, my, my idea of a diode was um, more of a rounded off um, with the one in and out but um, yeah you can get these little square black ones and hence the D giving it as a bit of a giveaway um, anyway so that is actually a diode oh there's one tiny little tanty there um, so same setup let's have a look at this so unlike these ones there is actually a door to board soldered onto this mother I know it's not really technically a motherboard but in terms of the main board I'll use the term motherboard um, which is slightly different to those other ones so it does intrigue me a bit more it's not easy to get into though Tricky because I wanted to get under the shielding, we're not under the daughter board. Oh, crumbs. Okay, so a little bit more to this one. Uh, a couple of little ICs. Interesting. Right. Um, so that's that one. So this is the same. So what I'll do is I'll be kind to you and I'll fast forward this one. Okay, so that's all that layer. Um, and now the Panasonic. Let's see what this has to offer. Oh, you've got to love that lawnmower. There we go. Luckily, it moves away pretty quick, so. I'm carrying on anyway. Okay, so this should be slightly different, different make. charging base there buttons okay
No, nothing special there. speaker clip to the board uh yeah the, so the other youtube videos i've been watching recently have been um dark exploration films i don't know if any of you have seen any of those but oh my life they are so fascinating it's literally he's a really cool guy uh, uh, quite often uh, i love sort of the exploring abandoned places but quite a few of the um people who are doing it are just a little bit too annoying for me to watch <laughs> which i know some of you might think well that's rich coming from you but I, honestly i i they prat about just a little bit too much so uh but the guy does dark exploration films he's actually quite respectful of the areas he's exploring and um he always researches a little bit of history he does a lot of hospitals and it is crazy you know the lack of data protection he's in america um, and you've got hospitals that have got patient files left behind and blood slides and even one there was a human lung still in a jar and um, an NYPD abandoned station that had criminal records and mug shots and evidence. I mean, guys, the amount of PCs that were in the evidence bay and all the old equipment, I was just looking at it from a scrapper's point of view of just all that stuff sitting there rotting getting smashed up by imbeciles i could be taking that to pieces <laughs> but it's really fascinating you know if you if you like that sort of stuff definitely give him a watch because um yeah i really enjoy it actually and the thing is with me i get a little bit obsessed with things and i sort of hammer their whole collection a bit like a box set really uh but my husband gets bored Whereas I will just, you know, if it's my current interest, then I'll just, I could watch it all the time. It's like, anyway, it's Ben. And having to get onto watching repeats because I've forgotten all the way back what he found on that street scrapping session. And I miss the street scrapping. I love that. I think that gives, it's just so interesting to watch the, and the stuff that gets thrown away. Anyway, I digress. So this one the Panasonic a uh, little flat pack there I see more ICs flat pack there um, yeah and a couple of capacitors so there we have it that's the Panasonic what's this one another Panasonic um Looks like the one I did the other day was actually the best. I think only one of these, no, two of these have had, well, these two have got tiny tanties on. A bit bigger one up there. But yeah, it's not exactly uh, the most riveting scrap out, I'm afraid, but you know, I've got them and they've got to be processed, so we're doing them, we're doing them in one go. That's the other reason I really need my workshop. To oh, speaking of which, this one's got a few. Hmm, this is much better. Well, uh, much more interesting to look at anyway. Right. Now I wonder if I can see a... Oh, these are getting blunt. Um... building those up to get the speakers out later um what was I saying no idea totally lost that trailer thought there memory like a sieve literally one's got a little oh, can't quite work it out I wonder if there was a date on there I think it's just signatures looks like a 
what I checked, completed and checked by. Could be wrong. I will say that, I know. Could be wrong. That's because I know often I am. I like to just give my theories over, you see. I'm not saying that they are correct. Oh, so this is one, the roller one. Yeah, strangely satisfying, isn't it? If you're an old ball like myself. Right. Green bounding on this one. And we do have some gold pins. Which is good. May well be another layer on the other end. Okay, what else have we got? So, a few small tanties here. Um, diodes, ICs, flat pack here. Well, it's an IC actually. Just trying to see what make it is. All right, guys, you tell me how do I tell the difference between like a flat pack chip and an IC? Because, I mean, they look the same. Other than the coding, because you can't always see the coding. So I know this one's an IC because I can see the code. But if I can't see the code, tell me, how do I tell? I know you're going to tell me in the comments. Right, crystal oscillator. And some capacitors. Oh yeah, let's see. Uh, what does that say? Made in Japan. Well, wow, Panasonic. But I mean, that doesn't mean anything because different chips are made, used in all different, by all different companies. Not necessarily where the phone is branded or put together. under that shielding oh it's because i bashed it off tiny little ic there and there so that there we have it that's oh and actually um and a couple on the back a couple of ic's on the back so there we have it now gigaset don't know this brand this one is pretty disgusting. Oh my goodness, my daughter is waiting so patiently for our roast dinner. <sighs> We're trying to have it as a more of a tea time roast than lunch time because it's just once I don't want to do anything else after I have a big roast dinner on a Sunday. So um yeah, we're trying the tea time. We, we've had it at tea time before, but obviously she's just a bit more into the routine of lunchtime. She just loves sitting down for the roast dinner, which we're very lucky for because lots of autistic children don't even like sitting at the table. And we don't do it every day, but she does love the routine of the Sunday roast dinner. So she's been very patient, although you will keep hearing the tapping on the doors if to say, Mummy, roast dinner. <laughs> not yet this has a really strange smell to it got some brass connectors here this is a very odd very uh sparse board here okay so that here is a prime example for me can't see a code to this so what is this? Is this an IC or is it a flat pack? Don't know. Anyway, there's a chip there and crystal oscillator there. Little IC. That's it. I mean, I mean, this has got a little QR code. This can't. This looks old, but it can't be that old because um, yeah, there's a QR code there. Anyway, let's. Okay, well that's the gig set one, nothing to write home about. 
and one to go. This is the Bionitone. And then I'll um, try and finish the box later when the uh, garden noise is gone. See, that is the peril of having to work outside. Finish my workshop. Husband, hear my cry. Right. Oh, that's very tight. That was a ping. There we go. Aha! Now this is much better. This is a bit like the first phone I did the other day. Lots more gold recovery on here in the board itself. So let's have a little look. You can see all, it's just the waste. Oh my God, does it build up? I'm going to get in trouble again soon as well if I don't get to the recycling centre. Okay, so some more COB. One crystal oscillator. One IC for some teeny... Yeah, one and some capacitors. So actually it's not quite as good as it looked, but there is obviously a bit more you can see, you can sort of the quality on this one is a bit better. There's a much richer colour in that. Oh look, I broke the chip. Oh, numpty. Okay, well. So it is a little, was a little, there's half a little, three quarters of a chip there. And that's it. Little bit of copper coil in there. And there we have it. So, let's have a look further in amongst all of the mess and the, oh, this is my, see, this is my random copper thing where I get, from speakers and it looks when at the time you know I said the other day it looks pathetic but they really do add up one hour darling one hour okay so here we have it these are the boards you can judge which ones you think are the best um, these are all BT's that's a BT as well and then Panasonic Gigaset and Binotone up there. So, yeah, not bad. So, if I get rid of the plastic for the plastic mountain, there's another little pile of boards to add to the box. And then, I think probably in the next one, I should be able to show you the total that I got out of that uh, surprise box. So, Okay, yeah, sorry this one's been a bit noisy, um, but I wanted to crack on. Um, I'll have a little break and then I'll do the last one and complete the little mini series on that surprise electrical box. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.